Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Watch Arna. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use probably the most important mod in modded Minecraft, and that is JEI or Just Enough Items. Now, if you've been in the modded world for a long time, you may remember this as NEI or Not Enough Items. That was scrapped a few years ago, and now we have JEI. Now, what this mod does, it gives you a big list of all the recipes for every single item that you can make. Now, in a lot of mod packs, you'll know there is a lot of items. So here you can see I've got 213 pages of items in here. And what I can do is use this search bar. For example, smelting, I can see smelting factories. Now, if I want to see how to make a smelting factory, I can left click that and it will give me the ingredients. Or I can right click that to see what I can use the smeltering factory in. You can also use the letter R on your keyboard to see the recipe, or U for uses that the smelting factory can be used in. When you click onto the item and you see the recipe, you can press this plus button here to move the items into the crafting table that you are currently in. And this will actually work with most mods that allow you to craft in an interface. Now, this is gonna take it from my inventory and it's going to show me it here. It's going to pull it up into the crafting station. Now, say if I wanted to make more than one crafting table, I could shift and click that, and it will add the maximum that either the crafting table will allow or limited by the amount of items in my inventory that can make that. And there you can see it has pulled through eight rather than one. When you are using the searching bar down here, this will use the title of the item. For example, here, crafting table. If you want to clear this, you can actually simply right click on the search bar and that will clear anything you have actually typed in here. Now, to get a bit deeper into searching, they actually add a lot of options to make your life easier. Now you can click on JEI config here with this little crowbar. And you can see here, you can go into cheat mode, which means that will give you any items as in if you were in creative, even if you're in survival. Of course, this does rely on you having cheats enabled on the server or single player that you are playing. Another way you can actually enable cheat mode is by hovering over the wrench and control, left clicking to turn it on and again to turn it off. Hide ingredients mode is actually a very interesting tool. If I turn hide ingredients mode on to true and then go back, I can see that I've actually hidden chiseled quartz blocks, pill art quartz blocks, pumpkins, and blocks of diamond. Now, when I turn this back off and then try and search for block of diamond, you'll see I only have a block of mana diamond here. The actual one that I have hidden is now gone. Now, you may be thinking, why on earth would I want to do that? But certain mods add things like covers. And as you can see here, there are 41 pages filling up my inventory with purely covers. So what I can do is I can go into JEI config, turn on hide ingredients mode. I can shift right click and it will try and it doesn't always work perfectly, but it will try and hide everything that it thinks is the same sort of item. And you can see here it's hidden most of these. And here I can shift right click again and it will do the majority of these. And then here as well, you can just left click to do individual items or right click to unhide that recipe. And then we turn that back off. We put in cover and this is all that's left. Now, the old version, which was not enough items, used to have the search bar in the middle. And I know people don't like change sometimes. So rather than having the search bar on the right here, you can turn this to true and it will move it to the center of your screen. Give mode will work when you're in cheat mode, and you can change that to give the items straight into your inventory, which will work like this. And a stack of the covered conveyor belts go straight into my inventory. If we go in here and put mouse pick up, that will then come to my mouse and I can click to delete. JEI also adds more search options in here, and you can see you can sort by color creative which i don't actually know how to use this one and generally isn't needed in my opinion mod name means you can search by the mod itself 
or dictionary, if there are multiple types of the same ore, for example, copper, it will give you anything that's made of copper. And resource ID will give you things like stone. So if you know you want to build a base out of stone, but you don't know which kind of stone, you can use that here. And also the tooltip will give you things like in chisel, the exact version of the block you're using. Now I'm going to show you each of these now. For example, if you have require prefix, it will require the little hat here. Or dictionary will require the dollar sign. Mod ID will require the at sign. If I disable that, you will not be able to search by color. Enabled means you will be able to search freely by color. And therefore I can search by red and it will give me anything the color red that's designated in the mods. Then if I would like to go to prefix required to, to go into red, you can see it's only bringing up four pages now. Whereas if I type that, and then red, I'm getting 22 pages of red items. If I go back into search options, we've got mod name, for example. At applied will give me everything in the applied energistics mod. Or dictionary with the dollar sign. I can type dollar sign copper and get everything that's made of copper. I can also go iron or tin and that will give me everything that's all dictionary to tin the and sign in the search bar and then stone will give me everything that is classed as stone now this may not pick up everything it depends how the mod author has designated their items but it is still useful i don't use this one as much and you can see everything made of stone here is showing now for the dash sign which is the tooltip i could put for example big and that will give me everything that is a big tile from the chisel mod. So these can be really useful. The main one I use is the at mod name if you're searching for something in a certain mod. And of course you can change these as needed. If you were looking for something very specific within a range of items, for example, you want to only see oak, but only saplings, you can type oak and you'll see it will give you everything. But I don't want to see all of these planks. I can then press space dash plank and it will remove all of the wood planks some mods actually give you an overlay in your ui where jei will actually cover that and it can be quite annoying it doesn't happen often but when it does it is very very annoying if you would like to actually hide the entirety of jei you can actually just type control and o on your keyboard and that will totally hide JEI. And you must make sure that you're not in the search bar when you do this, otherwise Control and O will do nothing. So you just click here to take you out of the search bar, Control O, and it's hidden. Another great tool of JEI is being able to add favorites. Like in the mod pack I'm playing, I like to always make garlic bread for my food, and you can see it's up here. If I wanted to not forget a recipe or an item, for example here, Emerald Ore, I can hover over it and press A, and that will add it to my favorites list. Now, you can use this and access this exactly the same way as you would over here. I can left-click on garlic bread, and I'm in cheat mode. I can left-click on the garlic bread and see how it's made. I can right-click on it and see what it's used in. And that's it, guys. That is a pretty much how you use just enough items. As you can see, this mod is really, really useful, and it will make your modded journey a lot easier and less stressful because there are so, so many different recipes and items in it that it's very overwhelming and this mod can really help simplify that now if you have enjoyed this video guys please don't forget to like and subscribe i will be doing more mod tutorials if you would like to actually join our divinity minecraft official server you can do that down below in the discord and also this mod pack is actually available on the twitch launcher thanks again guys